welcome back to day three of vlogmas i am just leaving the gym i've had myself a pretty productive morning i got up at 6 30 and i finished a shoot and sent that off to a client and then went to the gym and now it is 8 23 and i'm heading downtown um to do a boudoir shoot this is my last real shoot of the week i have a shoot saturday which we are hoping to do behind the scenes for we're gonna take you through like a little another like little day in the life i talked about this recently but like my family dog sadie passed away I think yesterday was three weeks ago um and my parents yesterday actually went and got a new dog and her name's Rhoda and um it's like a combination of some family names and she is so sweet she's two years old she's a lab border collie mix this little photo of her she's so cute um I love her already she's so gentle and sweet and um just a good dog and so she is going to meet Dodger tonight, so I'm going to vlog that because I think it'll be interesting. We're going to go to a park, so like a neutral playing ground, play with a ball. And then we are also going to be addressing some Christmas cards. Also be like making labels for our Piper family moonshine that Ryan made. So got a little bit of a day ahead of us plus a work day. So I'm just going to take you guys along. I'm home now. Dodger is very happy to see me. I went to the co-op because Ryan and I are doing a holiday beer, um, holiday beer taste test kind of thing video for one of the days of Vlogmas. So I picked up a couple beers from there, but I'll show you the things I got. I'm not gonna show you the beers. It's like a mix and match set in here, but I'll show you some of the other. Hello, get off the counter. Um, I'll show you some of the other beers that I got though, because I wanted to try them. We got this one. Look at this. You get it. It just felt like it was relevant to the time. And then I got this one. I don't think I've had this one before, but it's this rainbow, rainbow sherbet sour ale. And I love sours. Since we don't like drink a ton during the week, we might have like a glass of wine or a beer every now and then when it gets towards the end of the week. But I like to just have like fun drinks on hand that are like healthy, not like super sugar or anything like that. So I got this poppy drink. That's, I think it's a probiotic drink. Yep, yeah, probiotic soda. And then I got more Olipop. So I got the vintage cola and then the strawberry vanilla. I just, I really like trendy things. It's just who I am at my core. And that is just what I like. So I'm gonna also, I got a little ginger wellness shot. So I'll probably take that soon. And then I also, again, I'm a sucker for like, I'm, I'm very influenced by things. But a couple of the influencers that I follow sponsored by this Four Sigmatic, which is like mushroom coffee. So I thought I'd get it and try it. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And then I got Boom Chicka Pop. I literally love this stuff. I will probably eat this all today because I don't know how to stop myself. But this one's hot cocoa and marshmallow. Let's try it. Butter. Oh my God. This shit's so good. It's in my hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could eat so much of this stuff. Okay. Okay, I have to stop. Want to save some so Ryan can try it, so I'm going to stop eating that, maybe. Okay, yeah, I just made myself like a little breakfast sandwich with eggs and spinach and bacon. We had real bacon, so I used real bacon, and then cream cheese on each side, and some sriracha, and I am, wow, that looks delicious. Had this yesterday, and I'm so excited to have it again. Just finished breakfast, that was delicious. I know it wouldn't probably be classified as healthy, but I don't really care. Um, it tasted good, it felt good, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna take my wellness shot now. These are generally pretty potent. This is a ginger one. So I'm hoping it kind of wakes me up because I, Ryan and I stayed up last night past 11 watching The Undoing. And actually, of course, I feel like the ending was a little disappointing. Oh my gosh, classic me. I can't get this off. I actually think it was a super well done series. And I'm like still thinking about it. So that's good. All right, bottoms up, everyone. Oh man. Oh my gosh, I need water. That was like spicy. 
very spicy. One of you gals that always comments on our videos actually asked us where we get a lot of our home decor for the for the holidays. So I thought I'd just quickly run through it because um, I know it can be helpful. A lot of it's like family stuff, but a lot of it is from different places and yeah, probably places you would expect, but I thought I'd run through it really quickly. The bulbs are from Target. The vase is from, I think, Walmart. And then we actually just made this ourselves with like a little wood platter and then this guy. It's not really stable. You have to put things towards the middle, but it works. Target and Target. This my mom made actually, and it holds all your Christmas cards. We just haven't gotten any yet. This is also a family thing. My mom made it and it was my grandma's, I think, and so now it is mine. That is from Hobby Lobby. Bells are from Target, Hobby Lobby again. That little light up thing, let me put it on. My mom made it. Hobby Lobby, Target. Our favorite Santa guy up there is from my grandma. When she passed away, all of us grandkids got a Santa and she actually picked them out for us, so love that. Target, Hobby Lobby, these little guys are from Target. Pillows from Target, I think, or TJ Maxx. I actually made this from some stuff on Amazon. Put that together on Sunday. Um, Target, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, this whole set right here is from my grandma as well. Family thing, she actually made these. Um, Target, Target, Target. That's about it, most of our ornaments are from family. Like all my Barbie ones are from my parents. I think they get them from the Hallmark store. These are um, from Ryan's grandma, they're hand painted ornaments, they're beautiful. We put them on the tree every year. We obviously have some like from family as well, but all of these ones are just bulbs from Hobby Lobby as well. They come, they're pretty inexpensive and they work for now. I hope that was helpful. If you ever have like questions of where we get things, just comment them and I'll include it in a video. Um, I'm gonna sit down and work. I probably won't take you through too much work today just cause I already did that, but I need to sit down and edit some boudoir photos. And then I'm gonna take Dodge on a W in a little bit. Okay, exciting turn of events for the day. I was working and got a, message saying that our coffee table has arrived. Guys, you have to see how big this thing is. I'm shook. I'm gonna stand next to it. What the heck? I can't even reach this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Okay, um, I'm the type of personality that like when I get something new, like it needs to be like put together and I just get so excited about stuff like this. So Ryan's like, maybe we can put it together tonight. And I'm like, I probably am already gonna have it finished putting it together by the time you get home. So I'm gonna work on that really quickly. I needed a work break anyway, so this is perfect. I'm gonna try to get it up in the next 45 minutes. Wish me luck. I'm actually shocked. I didn't realize it was gonna come put together. So I should be done with it fairly soon. I'm hoping I can just lift it out. Jeez, I didn't expect it to come all the way together. I thought I'd have to at least assemble it. I have to do this. Dodger, come here! Come on in! Let's see, come here! Dodger, come! Come in the box! Come in! Come in! Come in and see! Come in! Come! 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 Come on! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Good job! Good job, buddy! You can sit? Can sit? I found you a box! Oh, you get this styrofoam! Oh, I love you. Hi, thank you for coming in the box with me. Let's get out. Perfect. Okay, breaking this down and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. It. We got the light wood because it like kind of matched that light wood up there. We wanted it to kind of go. I'm really warm, <laughs> but I like it. I think it looks really good. It's actually so nice. We're gonna take really good care of it because I don't want it to get messed up because it was a good amount of money. But yeah, I really like it. Wow. Wow, Dodger. She's cute. I literally had to change because I was so hot um, from doing that. We really need to carpet clean this like kind of corner area where the ottoman was pushed back to because it's just like stuff where food dropped. It's so gross, but like stuff that we just pushed the ottoman in and didn't notice a lot of 
ickiness and like also it's just like the carpet's worn from where the um, ottoman dug in. But I think we might get some sort of like rug to like kind of off center in this area. The reason why we are getting rid of the ottoman was because we bought it thinking that we would like really use our couch like laying on it like a bed like you know like having that extra space we were so excited for and like in our apartment we had like a hand-me-down couch for my parents which we loved for the time but we thought we would need so much more space and we realized like we don't even like it just was kind of taking up space and then we wanted whenever we ate down here the ottoman was like concaving in and so it just was like we finally got to a day where we were like this is not working so we are finally having like an adult coffee table. I like it so much better. I love it, I'm so happy. I might floof up the couch cushions too so it looks a little nicer. And maybe actually put my stuff away. I'm sure Ryan would appreciate that if I actually put my stuff away. Maybe I'll actually have to work in my office too because I don't know how the situation's gonna work out but I'm very excited right now. making burgers tonight we didn't really have anything planned out we were just gonna do like a fridge clean out but we actually don't have that much leftovers but we had extra buns and burgers so made some fries they're sitting in the microwave a little burger action on this Thursday we've got some LaCroix we're watching Shit's Creek I kind of messed up the fries a little bit okay I'm making Ryan clean up because I'm working on our Christmas cards what? You're doing great, sweetie. Um, I poured myself a glass of wine because I am going to address all the Christmas cards for us and get those ready to go. What? Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, you're cleaning. I appreciate it. Christmas all addressed with their cute little Santa stamps and then these are the ones that we're actually doing in person um, or really just we're not all in person like we're dropping them off at their doorstep with their card and Ryan's getting the moonshine going we were gonna make like labels but we just think it's gonna be a little tedious and next year if we do this again I think that we're just gonna order like mason jar like like the circle top stickers and we'll do something personalized poured ourselves some wine while we did it and oh Necessary. Totally. I'll show you guys our Christmas card though. There you go. This is our Christmas card. Perfect like that. And then on the back, just a little about 2020 being crazy and what we've been up to. Um, yeah, with other little photos from the year. Christmas cards are addressed. <laughs> We're going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed day three of Vlogmas. We're actually watching day two because Ryan hasn't seen it yet. Um, and just having ourselves some wine at our new coffee table. And it's just, you know, been a good day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for day four. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.